I'm going to show you how to create a bank account via T code and WBC in SAP SRN system. In the previous video of this channel, we have created the bank account and account ID in a different way. Now we are going to use this transaction. Everything related to banks configuration and creation of bank accounts, it is in the description of this video. So please get it there, the information if you haven't seen the previous videos. My name is Nundish and I've been working with SAP since 2001 with my main focus in finance area. I work as an SAP FICO contractor. In case you want to reach me out for projects, please find my LinkedIn ID in the description of this video. If you are just reaching to this channel, its name is SAP at Advance, and the aim is to share SAP knowledge. Therefore, do not forget, please subscribe to this channel to receive new videos on a weekly basis. My dear audience, I would like to make you a request to help us to reach to the first 1,000 subscribers. At the moment, we have more than 16,000 views and less than 400 subscribers. Could you please help us to balance this scale by subscribing to this channel? Here in this channel, we deliver very high quality of content. Now use my free time to share SAP knowledge for free. I think it's fair enough to ask you also to share SAP knowledge. How can you do that? Very simple. You just need to subscribe to this channel, Share it within your network and it is done. Let's reach to the first 1,000 subscribers. So in this video, I'm going to show you another option available to create a bank account and account ID in SAP as well in the system. And now without any further ado, let's start and let's go to the system. Now we are in the SAP GUI menu. I wanted to show you something first before we start. You have to go to SU, SU01 and then put your user ID and, and click uh, view. And then here in the roles, you need to have this role SAP underscore SFIN underscore cash underscore manager. Otherwise, you won't be able to run this transaction code. So, as a prerequisite of doing this, please go to this uh, transaction code. And if it's not there, add this role by doing this. I can show you quickly. You just need to copy paste the role. This is pretty simple. You copy paste the role, you type the role, you press enter, and then you just need to save. Here I have already the role, that's why I'm getting an error that is already assigned. That you just need to put this and save, and that it's done. The magic is done. So I'm going to get out, and then we are going to do our promise. So we are going to use the transaction code NWBC. I'm going to click enter, allow. I'm already logged in, that's why it's not asking. So you see, I'm going to uh, choose SAP underscore SFIN underscore cash underscore manager. That was the profile that we just added or the role that we just added into the SU01D, if it's your case. If you have a lot of information in this page, you can uh, put the information there and search. So from here, I'm going to click here and we are going to jump inside of the application. So here in the dashboard, we can see that we have the bank accounts, my work list when this, we are working using workflow, initiate review process. This is used for workflow. And if you see, you have here, create bank account, change bank account and change house bank the transaction codes we have seen uh, before. And then here we have a tool to import and export uh, um, bank accounts, so I mean account ID, but, but to import this into a different system, you need to uh, transport the bank accounts, okay? Or the house banks, if, if, as you wish to call it. So now I'm going here to open the bank account, manage bank accounts, and then here we have all this information that account lists we click here in account list and I see all accounts that we have in the system. By the bank name, we can click here and I can choose the option custom filter. And we are going to put star YouTube, which is what we have been doing here in this channel. So as you can see, I have already two YouTube accounts created. One one is, was this account in the previous video, and then I created this as for the preparation of this video. Now I want to create a new, a new account. Then I just need to click here, new bank account. 
So now if you've seen the previous video, this is uh, the new account. This is uh, pretty simple, straightforward. You have seen this already. So I'm going to just to get the dates done. This is a different way to create bank accounts in SAP. Don't forget. So I'm going to choose my company codes. Search as 400. I'm going to click here. Now, BR. And then bank account key. So what we are going to do, we are going to search our bank accounts. So this is our bank account, Bank of YouTube. I'm going to choose this one. Getting down, BRL. And then here in the account number. So we are going to choose this one and then we have an arrow that say this already exists. And I'm going to enter this one. So we are going to put in the account description, um, YouTube Live, this account. So account type, this is not new for you. If you have seen the previous video, we are choosing this option. So here we have other options, payment approvals. If we have workflow, we need to have the approvals here. Overhead limits, if we are working with that additional data. Yeah, as we can see, we, uh, we can put uh, more information. In the previous video, we, have, we were in the same screen, but we have less options. And then here, document, if we need to add documents, but this is the part that we want to see. House bank account connectivity. So now I'm going to click here in add. If you are enjoying this video as me doing for you, please make a big like to us. <coughs> so here, as usual, we need to go to the account bank. As in the previous video, we need to put here something. We can come here, for instance, to our configuration and then I can copy here the account key and I can give another name, another number. And I can give another number, number 24. 24 already exists, 25. Okay. So now here I'm going to choose the jail account. As normal, we are going to use a main account. So now, so far, so good. This was the same thing for other processes. If we need to fill in, okay, for other processes. And I think we are ready to save. That's a warning message. Now, if we close this, the bank is created. As we finished, and then I'm going to close this. And then we can see what is happening here. So we can come here and do a refresh. And as you can see here, our account has been created, YouTube Live, and then we have our account here. So now what is going to be pretty simple is going to see, I'm going to go to the transaction codes, FBZP, Go down, go back, go back, go back. And then we are going to enter in house banks. Inside of house banks, we are going to put our transaction codes S400 and double click. So bank of YouTube, that's the one that we have created. And now I'm going to click here in house banks. And we will see that we have YouTube Live, the text that we created. So we created this account ID. So this is another way to create bank accounts in SAP. If this video was useful for you, please don't forget, leave some comments. 
Now you know how to create a bank account via transaction code and WBC in SAP s system. Thanks for watching this video. You can find the next video in the description of this one. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel to receive new videos on a weekly basis. See you in the next video.